Meet John and David. Both of them are friends and they have a small IT firm of their own. John's company has the necessary infrastructure such as physical servers, data centers, etc. maintained on premises. On the other hand, David has all of this on the cloud. John wanted to scale up his business, but he was facing some difficulties in achieving this. So there are a few reasons for it. First, the manpower that he has is less since it is a small IT firm. Next, the demand of his business is unpredictable. So scaling up and down is a big problem. And finally, the number of resources that he has are very limited. So John was a little worried because of all of this. So he called his friend David to discuss the scene. After hearing John's problem, David told him that moving to cloud would be one stop solution to all of his problems. After hearing this from David, John was elated and happy because he finally has a solution to his problem. He then asked David, how can cloud computing solve my problems? David then answered this question by stating the following points. Point number one, servers and storage. When you have your infrastructure on premise, you end up consuming a lot of space for the physical servers. Apart from this, it is also difficult to maintain them. In cloud computing, all of this is maintained and managed on cloud by the cloud service provider. In this way, you tend to save a lot of space and it is cost efficient as well. The second point here is data security and data recovery. The data security offered by on-premises systems is comparatively less. This is because of the old protocols and security measures followed by the physical servers. Also, in case of data losses, the scope for data recovery is very less in on-premise systems. With cloud computing, you have much better security and here you do not have to constantly monitor and manage security protocols. All of this is handled by the cloud service provider. With cloud computing, you have robust measures for data recovery that are faster and easier. The third point here is scalability. In an on-premise setup, it is difficult to scale up and down as per your requirements. Scaling up and down can incur infrastructure and maintenance costs and hence it can be expensive. As discussed earlier, the available options to achieve this are very limited. With cloud computing, you can achieve scalability in a much easier and faster way. Here, you don't have to pay any extra amount and you end up paying only for what you consume. You can scale up and down very easily. And the fourth point here is the maintenance. With traditional systems, you must have a team that maintains hardware and the softwares. Here, you might end up spending a significant amount of money. With cloud computing, the headache of maintaining everything is taken care by the cloud service provider. This is relatively inexpensive and hence very fruitful. After hearing all of this, John was quite satisfied. So the main question here is, what is cloud computing? So cloud computing is a platform that allows people to access and share data in a secure and a scalable way via the internet and that too by using pay-as-you-consume model. In other words, cloud computing can be thought of as an internet-based computing where services such as servers, storage and applications are delivered to the company's computers and other devices in a cost-efficient manner. Organizations of every type, size, industry are using cloud for a wide variety of uses such as data backup, disaster recovery, email, virtual desktops, software development and testing, big data analytics and consumer-facing web applications. So cloud computing has two types of model. The first one is the deployment model and the second one is the service-based model. So let's talk about the cloud deployment models. Here there are three types. The first one is the public cloud. Next you have the private cloud and the third one is the hybrid cloud. So if you talk about the public cloud, from the name itself, we get the idea that this cloud model is accessible to everybody. Here the cloud infrastructure is available to the public over the internet and they are owned by the cloud service provider. Next, if you talk about the private cloud, here all the computing resources and services are deployed and dedicated to a single organization. Here, the computing resources are owned and governed by the same organization. Also, some organizations hire third-party cloud service providers to host and maintain their private cloud. And the third type here is the hybrid cloud. In simple words, a hybrid cloud is a combination of public and private clouds. Here, the resources of private and public clouds are shared to make data handling more flexible and provide better services than ever before. And now if you talk about the computing services model, there are again three types here. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. So if you talk about the infrastructure as a service, this category of cloud computing services helps you in handling data and application over the internet. 
Here, the customers are provided with infrastructures such as servers, hard disks, bandwidth, network connections, load balancers, IP addresses, and so on. Flexibility is the word that perfectly describes infrastructure as a service. Services like compute, networking, and storage are handled by the cloud provider, and the rest you have to manage on your own. The next type here is platform as a service. So platform as a service provides an environment that facilitates developers to build and create applications. So platforms can be anything like databases, containers, web servers, and so on. It keeps on updating and adding new features to the software and application along with providing storage, networking, testing, collaboration, maintenance, and deployment of applications. So productivity is the word that perfectly describes platform as a service because you just have to manage your data and application and the rest of the things will be managed by the cloud provider. And the third category here is software as a service. It is a cloud service where online software licensing and access is given to the clients rather than installing it on their individual computers. So cloud computing service providers host on-demand applications and avail them to customers over the internet. Through software as a service, organizations do not have to install and run applications on their own data centers. So subscription is the word that correctly describes software as a service because you pay for the software on monthly or the yearly basis and then use it. So the last question here is, which is the best cloud service provider? Well, the leading players as of now are AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. So if you talk about the market share, so AWS leads the race here. Apart from this, there are many other companies such as IBM, Oracle, SAP, etc. So with this, we have come to the end of this video on what is cloud computing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to Mind Magic's YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. So thank you so much for being with us.